What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanton of brendansadventures.com and on this episode I'm going to tell you how you can come travel with me in Peru and Bolivia. So on this episode I have an announcement to make that we're doing a second photography workshop this year down in South America. Uh, we're going to piggyback our trip in Peru and we're gonna do Peru and Bolivia this time. I had a lot of people say, yo Brendan, I'm a teacher. I can't get off in May. Can you do something in the summertime? So we're just gonna do that. So Tiffany Vust and I are gonna be running another workshop this coming July in, uh, in Peru and Bolivia. So let me break down the itinerary for you really quickly or as quickly as I can possibly do things because I drag things on. Like this explanation about how long it's gonna take me to tell you about the itinerary, which is now dragged on too long. Anyways, into it. Day one, we're arriving in the beautiful city of Cusco. It is a stunning city, and we're gonna meet all the participants, all the photographers are gonna arrive on July 13th, and we'll probably go out and do some food photography there day one when we arrive, have some welcome drinks, and it'll be beautiful. Day two, we're in Cusco again. We've got the full day to explore the city and take some photos, of course. Day three, we're on the move into the Sacred Valley, so we'll visit some beautiful ancient ruins like Ollán Taitambo and Pisac, and finally end the night in Aguas Calientes. The next day, we're heading up to Machu Picchu, where we'll get to see the famous ruins at sunrise. It's absolutely beautiful up there. It lives up to the hype. I've been to Machu Picchu like four or five times, and every time is different, every time is stunning. You'll love that bit, I guarantee you that. Um, then we go back to Cusco. The next day, we're on to the town of Puno, and that's at the base of Lake Titicaca, which is almost 4,000 meters above sea level and the highest navigable lake in the world. The next day, we'll navigate the navigable lake and head out to uh, a couple of the islands on Lake Titicaca. So we're going to visit uh, Takie Island and then we're actually going to have a homestay on Amantani Island with a local family. The views out there are brilliant. You get stars, you get wide open dark spaces, beautiful landscapes. We might play some soccer up with some locals. We might have a dance party. You never know what happens on a Montani Island. It's a lot like here in Vegas. What happens on a Montani stays on a Montani. Uh, after that, we're gonna head back to Puno the next day. Um, on the way, we'll visit a place called the Reed Islands, the Udox Islands, which are stunning and really cool place to photograph. Um, and then we're on our way to La Paz, the capital of Bolivia after that. La Paz is the highest capital in the world at almost 4,000 meters as well. So we're going to get some altitude under us. In La Paz, we have a full free day to explore there. Some people might want to go on the Death Road mountain bike ride, which is awesome. And there's some really cool photos to be had on that road as well. Or if you want, you can hang out in town and check out some of the museums, check the street life out, check out the markets. It's a fun city. La Paz is probably one of my top three favorite cities in all of South America. I love it there. Um, from La Paz, we're catching a flight, a short flight, to the city of Sucre, which is actually the administrative capital of Bolivia. But we're not gonna stay there long. We'll check out the plaza quick, and then we're off to Potosi. Potosi was once the richest city, or one of the richest cities in all of South America. Actually, probably one of the richest cities of the world at the time because of a mine that they have there. And the day after we arrive, we're gonna go into the mine. We're gonna meet some local miners, photograph some miners in the mine, maybe even bust off some dynamite in and around the mine and it'll be sweet. In the evening, we have the option to visit a volcanic crater, which is actually thermal so we can swim around in it as well. It's like a truly natural hot spring as I'm starting to run out of breath. The next day, we are on a bus to, or a van, bus or a van, to the city of Uni or the town of Uni. We're gonna visit a railroad cemetery at sunset and then the next day we're visiting the world's largest salt flats in the world, the Salar de Uni. And that's going to be beautiful. You're going to love that. And the next day, the second last day, we're flying back to La Paz in the morning. We'll have another afternoon in La Paz to explore. And the next day, sadly, we say our goodbyes. So you probably want to know what's included and what's not included on this tour. And let me tell you that most things are included. I'll start with what's not included. So meals and beverages aren't included except for breakfast. So you've got to cover your own food and drink. Luckily, Peru and Bolivia, it's very cheap to eat and drink. So not a really big expense there. 
Um, of course, we can't cover your flights to and from South America. you got to cover those. You also need to get your own travel insurance, as is the norm for everybody. That's essential. Get your own travel insurance if you're going to come with us. Um, what's included? There's pretty much everything from there. Um, all your transport, all your hotels. Our hotels are going to be mostly three-star hotels, except for the homestay, which is like uh, less than a one star, but it's still really comfortable and a great experience. Um, and then your transportation's covered, if I didn't say that, on the ground, so buses, vans, taxis. Your airport pickup and drop off is covered. Um, of course, your professional photography instruction from both Tiffany and I, some photo critiquing sessions, some one on one photo editing and critiquing sessions with both Tiffany and I. And all that good stuff on the tour is included, as well as admission tickets and the tours. So the tours we're going to be doing are Sacred Valley, Machu Picchu, uh, the mines, I'm missing some, but they're all included, so you don't have to worry about that stuff. And of course, the price is 2,990 US dollars. I travel in a mid-range budget, and so this trip is a bit of a mid-range budget as well. Really not that expensive compared to a lot of the other professional photo workshops out there that charge upwards of like five grand. You don't need to pay that. We're gonna go have some fun in Peru and Bolivia, so I hope you join me. If you do wanna join me, all the information is right here. You can click on it and it's gonna post you over to adventure.com or to my website and thenadventure.com. That's where you can book, that's where you can read the itinerary, that's where you can pay if you wanna come with me, or if you have any questions, that's where you can ask them. So again, really, it's gonna be an awesome time, Peru and Bolivia. Uh, so much diversity down there. We got landscapes, we got a little bit of wildlife, the people, the culture. It's going to be unreal. So I hope you join Tiffany and I. We're going to have a blast. I hope to see you there. And if I don't, I hope to see you on the next video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you later. Peace.